KMT presidential candidate Hoyo Yi has unveiled his energy policy. At a Wednesday presser, Ho called for keeping nuclear power on the grid before renewable sources are fully developed. He said if he is elected president, he would extend the life of Taiwan's first, second and third nuclear power plants. His plan was blasted by a DPP lawmaker who said that the first nuclear power plant was already being decommissioned and could no longer produce electricity. The lawmaker also asked where Ho intended to store nuclear waste. Japan, Japan, India, China, the U.S., Japan, South Korea, the U.K. and France are all adding nuclear power capacity. Taiwan must keep pace with the world. Our small modular reactors and nuclear fusion technologies after international accreditation can of course be added to the power supply. By 2030, we will have reduced our use of coal by 14%. By 2040, we will have phased out coal entirely, becoming a coal-free nation. Dismantling of key power generation infrastructure is already underway at first nuclear power plant, which can no longer generate power. During the press conference, Ho Yi was just shooting his mouth off. There are 14 city and county leaders who are members of the KMT. Which one of them will come out and say they want to host a disposal site for nuclear waste? Meanwhile, another DPP lawmaker, Liu Shifang, said Ho was contradicting his own past statements. In 2016, Ho said that the first and second nuclear power plants must be, quote, decommissioned on schedule. In 2021, Ho said that if no solution was found for nuclear waste disposal, nuclear power should not be used. The DPP lawmaker accused Ho of flip-flopping and underestimating the intelligence of Taiwanese voters.